give me 10 intermediate level uh, English words, let's say, without definitions. Okay. Mm. Really? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so let's see, intermediate. Oh. Oh, this is quite heavy. Not, not really something I was expecting. Okay, ubiquitous. Hey, hello. Welcome back. In this one, I'm going to take a test. I'm going to take a test from the most intelligent thing in existence, which is AI, of course. So I'm going to ask AI to give me difficult English lang uh, English words. I just want to take a test. I just want, I just want to see where I'm at. Uh, I've been quizzing people on English for quite some time now, so I think I deserve some punishment back. So that's what I'm gonna do here. So I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm a bit nervous and excited, you know. I don't want to look bad, you know. I don't want to make myself look bad. But even more than that, what's even more important than me not looking bad in this video is to be honest. I'm gonna be honest. You know, I think a few days not a few days ago, recently I shared one phrase or one word rather on my page which is pet peeve pet peeve is something that you can't stand basically so um, one of my pet peeves is dishonesty so i'm not going to be dishonest i will technically i could cheat since there is nobody around me i'm alone here in my room so i could technically cheat but i'm not going to i will not if i look bad i look bad right so be it who cares? <laughs> Maybe some people care. Some people do care, but I mean, I'm just joking, right? Honesty is the best policy, right? Intermediate first, and then advanced, and then native level. Let's go with intermediate. Give me 10 intermediate level uh, without definitions. Okay. Mm. Not, not really something I was expecting. Okay, ubiquitous. Ubiquitous is something that can be seen everywhere. For example, in Thailand, 7-Elevens are ubiquitous. You can see them almost everywhere. Ubiquitous. I think I got it right. So let's check. Let's check if I get it correct. Ubiquitous. Present, appearing, or found everywhere. Yes! Yes! It's a one. And number two, precarious. Precarious means a very dangerous situation. If you are in a precarious situation, maybe you are at the point of losing your job, right? Losing your job at the mercy of your bad boss. Uh, not securely held or in position. Dangerously likely to fall or collapse. Uh, dependent on chance. Rather than danger, just dangerous, it's more like uncertain. I would say, yeah, that was resilient means uh, in Yama, it's, I think it's easier in Yama. Resilient voice, right? <laughs> in When You Believe Sound by Miley, no, by Whitney Houston and uh, Mariah Carey, right? Resilient voice and resilient, you know, not giving up, uh, not giving up. Uh, persistent. Okay, let's see. Of a person or animal able to withstand or recover quickly from difficult conditions. Yes, babies are generally far more resilient than new parents realize. Really? Okay. Okay, resilient. Yes, lucid. Lucid. I don't know it exactly, but okay, let me just guess. My best guess is lucid is something um, fluid, basically, fluid, not fixed, flexible. Mm, okay, I, I might. I think I, I smell wrong. So let's see. I lose it. Expressed clearly. Easy to understand. <laughs> that was the opposite of what I said, right? Prolific. <clears throat> Prolific is um, intelligent, uh, very academically informed, uh, educated, famous in some sense as well. We can say a prolific author, writer. Prolific debater uh, of a plant, animal, or person producing much fruit, much fruit or foliage, or many offspring. In captivity, tigers are prolific breeders. Okay, present in large numbers or quantities, plentiful, uh, plentiful, abundant, really. 
Ah, oh, that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. I was talking like I knew it. What the f? Two L's, two L's, and that was just intermediate. Uh, con, what is this? Convoluted, uh, diluted, uh, mixed, uh, blended, not original, maybe. Let me see. Especially of an argument story, an argument story or sentence extremely complex and difficult to follow. Uh, it's convoluted. It's convoluted narrative and encompasses all manner of digressions. Okay, so I, I think I was wrong. Uh, tenacious, tenacious. I think in some sense it's uh, ferocious, strong, brutal. Uh, I don't know exactly. Tending to keep a firm hold of something, clinging or adhering closely. Uh, tenacious grip. Oh, tenacious. Oh yeah, it was uh, firm, right? Firmly, firm. Not readily relinquishing position, principle or course of action. Determined, determined. I would say I was uh, about seventy percent correct uh, yeah. so that was okay I would say um, that was a good guess let's say or oh, eloquent eloquent is someone who is um, who speaks very clearly effectively for example let me just give you one example Barack Obama is an eloquent speaker eloquent speaker uh, very uh, effective speaker right so effective fast clear Profound speaker with a sick of clarity, fluent or persuasive in speaking or writing, and eloquent speech. Yes, mitigate. <clears throat> mitigate is basically to minimize to minimize uh, risk. For example, <clears throat> make less severe, serious, or painful. Yes, got it. Substantiate. Oh man, I, it beats me. I should know this one. I've seen this one more than a dozen times, but somehow <laughs> provide evidence to support or prove the truth of something. They had they had found nothing to substantiate the allegations. Okay, substantiate. Okay, to substantiate means to have enough or adequate evidence to make a case. For example, okay, uh, fair enough. So ubiquitous, precarious, resilient, uh, prolific, uh, prolific, I got it wrong, right? Tenacious, okay, eloquent, mitigate. Six out of ten, six out of ten, oh no, this is only intermediate. <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. That's okay. This doesn't necessarily mean that you don't know it, right? But that's why we need to learn more. Right. If you read them in a context, if you read them in a book or in a paragraph, of course you're you're gonna know. You're ninety percent gonna know what they mean by the context. I don't feel bad, but it was embarrassing. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go one more time. Um, advanced level English phrases. Ten more. I want some more smoke. I'm all for the smoke. You know, I want the smoke. In boxing, we say I want the smoke. I want all smokes. It means I'm not afraid. I can take anybody. I can fight anybody. Give me 10 more. This time I want to do a native level. Native level English phrases without definitions.